Good morning and welcome back. I am Nixtix. And these are I don't even know who they are. Are they Russian? They're Danish and Estonian. And we are wannabe Italian Romans with about fifty thousand troops. And there's a crusade against them. I swear I have nothing to do with the fact that we're going to crusade against Novgorod instead of retaking Jerusalem or one of those things that the Pope likes to do. Um, and yeah, I guess it's good. I guess I guess we're taking Novgorod for this dude. Yep. Gonna have some Italians in Russia now. Or somewhere. Not even sure where it's gonna be. It's gonna be a mess, probably. Half my people are probably gonna die. My god. Who are you even? Did he really just. My god, he's got. Oh, it says the scaly thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well. Sounds like a. Sounds like a very Roman thing. Looks like a very Roman thing. Oh, just random army in front of us, just walking there. Also, yeah, I haven't played this in a in a hot minute, so pardon the pardon the what do you call it absence. And if I somehow forget what we we're completely doing here, okay, rank number one. I think I killed the biggest army in the area, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and. There's that. We are going to just go get them. Another grandson. I don't even know who you are. Claudius. I'm gonna call you... Uh, well, there's the Germanicus. We're gonna call you Rusicus. Even if it's not... I guess it's probably not the name you'd have. Oh, they're trying to get that back. We will not allow such... Oh, there's actually... That's actually the army. I wonder if my king will die. He'll probably die in this battle, but he's, he's a big boy now. He's been around the block for a while. Our... So far, our dynasty is kind of safe. I don't know what's gonna happen in 10 minutes from now, you know? Or 5 seconds. Or the fact that we're just dying horribly. Let's just get the problems back. How about that? Um, yeah, sure, let's do this. I was looking at converting to Hellenism, but I'm like, eh, I kinda don't wanna do that. I kinda don't wanna do that. This would take way too many points. You can't even sit these guys, like, put them on the ground here and just not have them die horribly. By the looks of it. Because they are just... Devastating themselves, honestly. Can we just go there and try and fight these guys instead? I'm second, not allowed. And we died. Okay, so who's rebelling against us? That's fine. No beneficiary. Well, can I not just assign the same dude? Who was he even? Like how there's just like too many of them. It's this guy here. So who is revolting? Maghrebi people, independence faction. The dude in Hellas, he's still doing his job there, thank you. You, my good sir, are complete garbage. Who would want independence? So the lady. 
pardon me. Oh, that guy, okay. And Egypt. You can work, you can do your job here, yes, please, thank you. You and... They're all equally bad, I love this. He's converting Cairo to Italian. He's doing his, his job, I guess. Or they all hate me. Foreign culture group, what are you? You're orthodox. Should pay some money. Oh, you're the Solomonids. I remember you. I remember. I am yet again the dynasty head. I will take this. Also, the count is not very nice. Who's who's the dude? Emperor Marius. So he is my man over here. A doctor's kind of infirm. I'm not even sure. I think infirm doctors are probably not the doctors you want to have. Um, dismiss. Let's search for a new court physician. And let's also, like, change the crown. What do you guys say about that? What do you guys say about that? Headwear. I like the fleur de lis and the leaf crown. They're nice. They're more chill. So, Yorbeth. Yorbeth? Yorvith? Yorvith. Isn't there a dude called that in, in The Witch or something like that? Yorvith, yeah. Spell a little bit differently, but that's okay. Okay, we're first again. So I'll have 22k troops there. Siege by Pope Clements. Gonna just siege their home down. Siege down their home. So I am first for now. Oh my god. I have way too many provinces. Where do we even have these provinces? These cities are good, but at the same time, I'm like, eh. <clears throat> Do I really want them that badly? This is being leased to him. It's the same dynasty as me. What do we get if I keep Jerusalem? Not much, really, I don't think. I'll give it away for now. That should be enough. I wonder if he's gonna die, just outright die. I mean, our, our son is kind of better in some ways. He didn't treat me. I kinda did know the risks. I'm not gonna lie. So... inherited this stuff. So this guy, that's a Catholic, inherited this stuff. Do we have any of our dynasty members anywhere?
This happened despite your spouse's poor stewardship skill. Okay. Interesting. So they were rewarded that. They were rewarded that. And they were rewarded. Decent amount, I'd say. No new kings, though, sadly. Oh well. Okay, so last time I was here, um, the goal was. Oh, I end up dying. Um, last time I did, definitely don't go on a pilgr pilgrimage just yet. We could just get rid of him. Army is being reinforced. Emperor Marius. We have two Mariuses. Emperor Marius the second, this would be, I think. Okay, well, um, my man over here is gonna. Oh, there we go. Emperor Marius the first, the Roman Emperor, is in the arms of the Lord at 64 years of age. He died of oh, gout-ridden right, poor man. So this man, he fought for the glory of God. I guess he didn't. So. So first things first. I like how in my case it's like you, you need a smaller count to be cooler than the opposite. Well, this guy looks very Roman, definitely. My god. They're all just as bad. Duke of Savoy, how do you have 15,000? <laughs> Holy orders. Okay, that explains it a little bit, I guess. Marius the second is a little better at military stuff. Let's do that for now. Who's revolting? Greek Catholics. Catholic populists. Best part is that this guy might potentially just have Italian kids in time, the dude in Hellas. Egypt is still being integrated as far as I remember, yes. This is Felicia. <gasps> she does not have the beautiful trait, but she is a glorious, glorious lady anyway. Say Roman names. They're gonna be called Bellona. That's a goddess's name, no? No, you're good. Yeah, maybe. They're gonna be called Ceres. Ceres. That's another goddess, I think, as well. So, besides that, what about independence factions? Okay, Catholic populists. What do you hate me, mister? Or if I bribe you? Pardon me. Oh my god. He does have 15,000 Holy Order people. That's true. Can I make alliances? I can annoy the Kingdom of Romania, probably. Can make an alliance with that dude. So you have 15k, you have 13k, you have 7 king. You're the king in Armenia. I'll sign this guy here and let's see if that actually. <gasps> no. This is my current doctor. Let's 
Search for a new position, maybe we get lucky. Aurelia, yes please. So, the current goal, I know it's, we're like, halfway in this episode, the current goal is to deal with the fact that there's two Roman empires right now. I know that it's popular to be Roman and to be like, hey, I'm gonna take the western half, the eastern half, these guys are like the northern half, the southern half. I'm actually not sure what to do to unite these two, but my hunch is that if I do this... It might work. I might be completely wrong. If we just take this stuff, technically maybe, but then again, maybe it's because I'll probably find out in time. Nephew and cousin. Bro, can we just get these kids? They're like your uncle and cousin, brother in law. Oh, long God. I love that. Yeah, maybe it's the fact that these are like not part, like this is the de jure Roman Empire. Because I had these two king uh, like empires or kingdoms when I formed them. Want the Pope will like me a little bit more. I'm very, very, very tempted to take this land here. I'm a Crusader, so he likes me a little bit more. I am Augustus. Why am I Augustus? Why are we Augustus? So we always just get Augustus now, from now on. What would be another thing that we could do? Dynasty of Minicons, this could be another thing. Direct national opinion on the precise stewardship on levy size. Okay, let's actually stop doing nothing. Armies restoring itself, that's very good. Uh, go on a pilgrimage, sure. I mean, Jerusalem is in our hands, might as well. What does event protection do? Oh, we'll take this. And now that the army is reinforced... No, 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 no. I go for the duchy, thank you. I love the fact that this this CB is just amazing, honestly. I, I, I'm enjoying this CB. I think later down the line you might actually take kingdoms away, but at the same time, by that point, we're probably more likely to just have, you know, all of the stuff anyway already. So where is their capital? It's lagging. It's actually lagging. Why? What if I just siege their capital first off? Oh, speaking of, someone did recommend that I do this. We do not seduce, we do romance. Let's actually check this. So, we do romance. What's the success chance? So, her opinion. I'm Combly and Herculean. She's gregarious, so she likes that. Genius likes genius and courtship. So, generally, later down the line, if you're marrying, you know, the right stats, kind of, sort of. Uh, like, again. She's smart, you're smart, that kind of stuff. You will just enjoy each other's company, I guess. Albina, that's that's kind of a oh, she's got she's kind of got sort of better stats, I want to say. I want to call her. Priscilla, 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 I guess, in English.
Oh, the word's done. Yes! <laughs> All it took. All it took was, was a duchy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. What do you guys think? This looks ten times better already. Yeah, this looks amazingly so much better. I love it. The Roman Empire. Okay, now that this has happened, I'm not sure if I can uh, maybe... Intelligent, pious... If I do declare... Do I get any consequences for this? I probably shouldn't follow them, honestly. But it's like I'm like a dog. I'm 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 deep down. I am a dog. I'm like, this is this is the bone, this is the, the thing they threw, and I'm like <laughs> musket, musket thief. So I have retained. Let's see, special gift. One point five K prestige just out of that. Okay, so the pa papacy does exist here. If it wants to be ransomed on, I guess it makes sense. Um. I shall seek for indulgences. For the second time since the fall of the Roman Empire, Western Empire Italy has been liberated and restored to the proper Roman rule, hopefully for good this time. The great city of Rome itself is now under my control, and even the hardened soldiers can be seen weeping as the imperial standard flutters in the breeze from Trajan's column. Ah, ah Trajan. Okay. We completely control the Empire of Italia, I guess. Now we probably control a little bit more here. Do you have any good claims here? So he is of the Bulgarska dynasty, so he is the Bulgarian dude. And uh, in good spirits, I should respect my, you know, my my two Bulgarian viewers and uh, and probably restore him there. But at the same time, at the same time, actually, who's that? Is it even bad if I do this? Like, would I even lose anything if I do that? I'm trying to think. We'd have some Bulgarians, but like. Whatever, we already have like everything. We got everyone and everything in here in this empire. So it's like, it's not like it's gonna screw me over or anything, I don't think, at this point. So why did I, um, what did I inherit here? What's, what's the provinces that I own? Please just click on it. Spell to oh these two. Well, that's easy to solve. <laughs> He's of the same dynasty as me, so I'm just gonna give him this stuff. There we go. Antioch looking juicy. I like it. I like it. So so far, Empress, Emperor, sorry, Empress, Emperor Marius II is doing a decent job. A decent job over here. Um, I have 5,000 gold. How about I invest some of that 5,000 gold somewhere? Let's get more troops and everything. More money. Just more everything. 
could say no to more. Rome. Let's build this. Even though Rome is an amazing province, I, I just cannot marvel at the beauty of um, Constantinople. Like, there is no province as rich as Constantinople here, at least. What about Cordoba? Development growth is good, holding taxes is good, but it's not 300 like it is in uh, Constantinople. Or what What was it? Holding taxes, 300 plus increase. And more even. It's insane. It's just absolutely purely insane. So I need fortress in here. Which I cannot build just yet, and I need gold for that as well. Which again, is not the end of the world. So he wants Duchy of Romania, Duchy of Latium. Do I own any of those? What does he want? He wants the Duchy of Romania. I mean, he could have them. The Duchy of Latium. It's just this dude here, I think, right? Yep, that's the Pope right there. Kind of relatively historically accurate. I'd say. Once I see him in the council, well, suck a. <clears throat> Actually, no, it's the Pope. It can't be. It can't be like that. Wow, you get a lot of money from Texas. Current head of faith. Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. Okay, so. We have united the Roman Empire through here, but can we do it through here as well now? Let's take Provence first. And slowly, but surely, the Romans will rise. Also, um, what else do I need to convert to Greek? Sorry, to Italian. Uh, do I have any Italians anywhere at all? I like how Messina is still... Over here in Syracuse are still, you know, culture is Cisalpine over there currently. Okay. I don't know. Would you would you convert? I'm like in my mind. I'm like role playing a little bit like this, right? I'm like. Also, yeah, I forgot I did that. <laughs> I'm I'm doing this stuff and I'm thinking. This will take nine years. Oh, there's no use in you doing that. Then how about you just keep improving Constantinople, I guess? We're in another offensive war. Let's send them in. Today we start with Provence. Princess Cheris. And then there's Princess Priscilla. Who I like a little bit more, but my wife is currently pregnant. If she has another son. Improve defense and avoidance, that's acceptable. We're gonna lose that for sure. That is okay again. Hey, my baby girl. We got another daughter, Lucia. Lucia. Does neither of us have the comely tate? No, we do have the comely tate. We have at least that. You're gonna be called Cassia. Meaning cinnamon. You are my little cinnamon. I don't even like cinnamon, to be fair. It's like good and stuff, but like. Not exactly my thing. I'm gonna mutant like that. 
Let's see, what are we doing here? Snow and the war is done. So these provinces as well stay with with me. I can give them away and I will do this. Thusly. My father still has sons and daughters and stuff. You are getting this land, my friend. Get that. They're gonna have way too many troops, though, honestly. In the end, King of Burgundy. Can I? Can I not like usurp this? I have almost all the provinces needed. Well, there you go. Raising all these troops takes all this time. Beautiful. Our troops did go down by quite a bit. Levies, there's a lot of them, but I always kind of want more. Ah, look at this. I actually forgot. We can now increase their size over here. We have still bowmen. Meanwhile, I could probably have something better. I'm gonna say some mangonels and trebuchets. I don't even need mangonels. Is there more trebuchets? And other stuff, obviously. Which one of you ungrateful bastards? Oh, you. Yeah, Savoy is getting pretty big, that is true. You're French. Disgusting. I love it. Did he convert? Please ask for money. We cook. I'll do it. Um, actually... You get this land here too, so that you as brothers and family members can fight between each other and leave me the heck alone. Verona. <laughs> Kingdom of Verona. Principality of Burgundy. So Burgundy owns weird lands. Also you. You bastards have a faction against me? Really? What other titles do I have? King of Italy, King of Naples. Well, if all goes well, I know where I can irritate. <laughs> The Kingdom of Naples. Uh, Verona. I cannot declare war on you just yet. He did conquer this stuff here. This is another bigger war, maybe. All the war for Kingdom, I'd need to be a Paragon of Virtue. And I'm not even close. I'm not even close. Let's go for a hunt. My dearest. Emperor shall go on a little hunt where he shall absolutely 100% not die. I'll educate every single one of my kids that I can at least. Do we make Priscilla the queen? Go 
Pope Clemens. Pope Clemens, you're not even good at anything, brother. My friend. God, none of them are good at anything. Can I just assassinate this guy? Nope. Um, so Verona needs to be eaten up. Aquitaine. Could go for duchies. Straight duchies. The duchy of Toulouse, the sexiest of duchies. Let's take over... He is Catholic, this. He is Greek. This Greek Bulgarian guy. That's definitely not Bulgarian. Sure. Um, I think we go to war here. Yep. Yeah. I guess we could take his capital down there and down south. I mean, we're kind of filthy rich, but at the same time, I can still get filthier and richer. Instead of your Roman over. Like I still haven't changed these up. I feel like if you're gonna be a big empire, you have to have Constantinople around. Just because you get so much money out of it. I lay with the Empress. She's preg Pregante again. Oh. Look at that. Sure. It's gonna be Mar Marius the third. So, with this amount of Mariuses in our... in our empire, we are supposed to probably be the best army around, because my, my mind just go, goes back to that one general. Was he even called that? Roman reforms. Of the army. Marian reforms. Close enough. Yeah, his name was Gaius Marius, alright? And they're called the Marian Reforms, because that's how languages work. Obviously. Of course. The culture of Pardon me, what? I don't understand this. So, wars, gates, and prescribe all over the world have to put many people around there by welcome these displaced souls and our lands are very happy to welcome. Um, honestly, this is pretty good. Actually, I'm curious. This is a Greek province. I wish there was something better to do with it, like cultures and stuff like that, like integrate them somehow, I don't know. But like, not in an easy way like you would in E4. Like a different kind of integration. Like I wish there was an event or something that was like, hey. Oh, I don't. I not know who you are. Goodbye. Yes. Did someone queue up that song, the Benny Hill theme, theme song. Hope they rise up again. You know what? We'll get us strong, but together we're stronger. Take this fort, god damn it. So we have Bulgaria somewhere. I 
I need to get on Vassal. She's Valdensian. Pardon me. Okay, so wouldn't wouldn't this be Is there anything else that I would need to have in order to be like, yo, this is Oh, this one, maybe? Found a holy order. Well, more holy orders, I guess. Do I get holy orders as anything? No, not this domain. I don't even remember what that one does. Maybe we can take the poor girl. Jesus, what, what, why did we do that? But yeah, this is it for now. This one has gone for way too long. Thank you for watching. I hope this actually does feel better now looking at this because it was disgusting seeing the T Roman Empire thing split. I think it should do the same thing as it does in E4, I think. Where if you have like a contiguous empire of some kind, like the names, the name placement would be better. But at the same time, I don't know. Maybe maybe some people like like it like this more. Maybe some don't. Thank you for watching. Uh, if, if you like it, uh, subscribe. If not, thank you for even being here. I appreciate it.